Gabby for Make Life Your Own Way, and I'm here with my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty haul. I did a video where I talked about all the things that will be on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty, and so I wanted to share with you what I actually ended up purchasing and how much I cost and my experience and all of that stuff. So if that sounds like something you'd like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Woo! All right. Black shirt, brown lips. It is fall time. Okay, is it official? I think it's officially fall. What what day was that? September 15th? Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me Google. September 22nd. We're getting there. We're getting there. But by the time you see this, it is fall, 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 fall. Yes, YouTube, I know you are all sick of hearing it, but we all love it, okay? The leaves change, the fashion changes, all the new releases come out. It's a beautiful time. Uh, yay. And I want to tell you guys, I turned on AdSense on my videos. And so how it works is there is an ad that plays at the beginning of every video. Um, the more views I get, the more times the ads play, and then the more money I get. At this point in time, I'm at $14. Every time I hit $100, I'll get a check. I'm pretty sure I understand that correctly. Every $100 check, I put back. I will put back in my channel, whether it's a microphone. I know some people have requested I got a microphone. Whether it's I buy products that you request me to review and try. Maybe it's a giveaway. Whatever it is, that $100 will always go back into my channel. So please share this video. Send it to your friends. Comment. Click on it over and over and over. <laughs> so that I can help put money into this channel and make it grow. I love all of you. I know I am a small channel, but I have a very solid base and I really appreciate that and I love YouTube. I love that I can post two days a week on top of my hectic schedule. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I'll say it in a few videos too so I hope you don't get tired of hearing it but my goal with YouTube is to just review makeup and talk about makeup. That's it. So if I can get some extra cash on the side to put into it, that's great. I don't make a lot of money but I make enough to buy some makeup, but if I can make a little more, to buy some more makeup for you guys, much appreciated. Alright, <laughs> let's talk about this haul. So like I said, I'll link down below the video where I went through the flyer, which is probably sitting around here somewhere, and I picked out the products that I was interested in buying. So I thought I would come back with a review, recap, and show you what I actually ended up purchasing. And this was amazing. It was, um... Everything roughly, roughly, I didn't do like a complete price breakdown, but just kind of my from my memory, all these products were about $200 total. I spent about $70 total. I feel like that is a win-win. Shipping was free, which I know when they started, or not started, but when they did 21 Days of Beauty a few years ago, they did not include free shipping. So they've done it in the last couple of times. They for sure did it this time. And it's really nice because you can just drop that one product in your basket and buy it and just pay taxes. Um, and then the shipping was crazy. Like within a few days, every package came. So they were really on it. I had a really good experience with it. Um, I will definitely keep it in mind. They do the 21 Days of Beauty about twice a year. So I'll definitely keep in mind how great of an experience I had this time around. With this selection of deals, there was not a lot of makeup, which is kind of unfortunate. So a lot of people were disappointed. Cause a lot of times they'll do like blushes and foundations and setting powders. And they did do some of that, but not as much as they usually do. They really focus on like mascaras and skincare, which is great too. But um, for us makeup lovers, it's like a little bit disappointing, but it's fine. So let me share with you what I actually picked up. And I'm so glad these things are on sale because these are all items that I have wanted for a couple of years because I've heard other people talk about them. But I just did not want to put the money into it. So the first thing is um, the Benefit Roller Lash. This came out a couple of years ago. And um, I don't know. It's got a lot of hype. People still talk about it even though it's been out for a couple of years. People are still putting it in favorites videos. If you look at the reviews on Ulta, 
if my memory is correct, there's a couple thousand reviews and it's still almost five stars. So I thought with all of that combined, it's time to try the Roller Lash. This is typically $24. I do not spend $24 on mascara. So when it hit that $12 mark, I was like, yes, yes, please. I absolutely have to have it. It kind of has like a curved wand and I think it is a plastic wand. I'm not going to open it just yet just because I want to um, use up some other ones. But yeah, I'm so excited to try this. And for $12, I mean, come on. So on the same day as that Roller Lash, the Cover FX Setting Powder was on sale. This is originally about $36. I could be plus or minus a dollar. But it was on sale for about $15. So for this day, I spent about $35. Is that right? Ooh, something around there. <laughs> if you guys are technical and math and number people, you're probably like cringing right now. I'm so like a ballpark type person. But anyways, this is what it looks like. This is the Perfect Setting Powder. Um, and it is a loose setting powder and it is a translucent light. I've used this a few times. I've really been on a kick with loose powders. They're kind of Loose Powders is a product that I go in waves with, but right now I really love it. And I have been using the um, number 7. This is their translucent powder. I am panning this in my birthday project pan. Um, but I would say just from the few times I've used the cover effects, they are very similar. And this one's $12.99 full price. But with that said, this probably is better quality ingredients. I don't really know. But the few times I've used it, I don't see much difference from that number seven. This is a little different. It has like this top, and it actually, let's see how big of a mess I'm going to make. But this lifts up. And I know that, which one is like this? The Too Faced Born This Way Loose Powder has that too. So I like it. Some people I've heard think it's really messy. I think it's fine. Um, I use a beauty sponge when I apply my loose powder, so I don't really get it anywhere, everywhere. It's not really a problem. All right, that was the first purchase I made. And then I, oh, I had to do it. Derma Blend. I said I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it when I posted that other video. I got the color Cool Beige. I thought only the translucent powder was the one that was going to be on sale. And I didn't really want a white translucent powder. But then I saw that you can actually pick colors. And so this color is a little bit dark for me. But I made it work the one time I used it. I haven't used it a whole lot. Um, but the one thing I wanted to point out is this Derma blend is 28 grams, which is more than the number 7. The number 7 is 20 grams. But this cover effects is really... Um, small in comparison it's only 10 grams for $35 so that's just something to keep in mind with price points this one is about uh, $34, $35 full price but on the sale it was about $14 so I need to use it more before I can actually give a review but I love that there is so much product in here I love that now I have kind of a variety of loose setting powders and loose setting powders kind of have a longer lifespan in my opinion but um yeah, so this was the second thing I picked up, and I simply just ordered this by itself. So I love that only this came in the mail. Okay, and then next. Oh my gosh, I heard Coffee Break from Danny talk about this product like probably two years ago or more. But the price point of it not on sale is so insane to me, to me. Okay, full price, this product is, I don't know, anywhere between $25 and $27. But it was, or maybe it's only 21 You know what? Don't worry about the prices. But the, I only paid $9.50. This is the Ico Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl. I don't know what it is about this. Okay, let me tell you. Let me take it out of the box. What has always intrigued me about it, and this is going to seem like incredibly petty, but call me Patty Patty. It's like actually in a like container, you know, like most mascaras are like in this hard plastic thing, but this one is like actually in a tube. And I just thought that was so cool. And it says designed for after hour seduction. What? Okay. D did not 
realize. But um, it is infused with keratin and shea butter, visibly, visibly transform and intensify your lashes. This has really great reviews, and this particular kind is the best rated. So I went with this one, and it is in the color black. And I'm so excited to use it. I don't know which one I want to use first. Do you guys have a preference? Like, is there one that you want to see me use first? Just let me know. Okay, and then final purchase. I was so back and forth about this, but this is a product that I have wanted for a long time, but it's a really high price point for me. And it is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Okay, and this comes in a pot, which you guys know I don't really like potted <laughs> products. Um... But anyways, it is what it is. It's a super cute pot. <laughs> it looks like this. And this is um, just like a salmon peach toned under eye corrector. It has amazing reviews. Just like the roller lash, there are close to a thousand. This is originally $30. Um, it was on sale for $15. And then I had some Ulta money, $3 off. So I thought I would just... Go ahead and pick it up for $12. Like, I'm never going to find it any cheaper than that ever in my life ever again. <laughs> okay, that's probably not true. But I just thought it was a really good time to pick it up. And then finally for samples, they threw some pretty good samples in here. Um, Ulta isn't really known for their samples, let's be honest. They're usually pretty crappy. But I was impressed. So one thing I got was the NARS Liquid Blush. And this one is an orgasm, and a lot of people have been talking about these, so I think it's really cool. I get to try a sample of it. Um, Smashbox primer finish. Like, Ulta usually puts this in shampoo in their, whatever, shampoo. This is the uh, Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Sulfate Free Shampoo Conditioner. That's fine. But here they have Radiant skin collection Ulta Beauty Vitamin C skincare. I guess they have new skincare. And so I'm excited to try that out. And finally, I keep dropping everything. But finally, they also put in an Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade waterproof brow color and they put it in Burnett Auburn. And so you actually get four um, little colors and a brush. I'm like, okay Ulta. I see you. Like, when I think of makeup samples, this and, where to go, this uh, thing over here, NARS, like, give me the current products and a sample of those products so I can decide if I want to go drop my money. You know, like, that, that's a sample. Like, no offense to Smashbox because I do love this photo finish primer, but how many samples of this do we need? I've had at least 10 in my lifetime. And I like it. I would purchase a big size, but why? I just keep getting samples. I think at this point in time, I have three in my possession. All from Ulta. <laughs> but anyways, that was my haul. Let me know what you think. Let me know which mascara you think I should try first. What did you pick up? Did you get anything? Let me know. Let me know your experience. Please share the video or at least click it and refresh and refresh and refresh. Let's hit that first hundred dollars. We'll put that money back in the channel. We'll hit another hundred dollars. We'll put that money back in the channel. You get what's happening. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.